Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. We're going to review Animal Con today. I just got back last night. I'm going to talk about whether or not you should go to Animal Con next year, whether or not I regret going to Animal Con this year, and we'll uh, review some critiques from other people that sent out critiques about Animal Con. Once a week, we upload a beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece to this channel. This video is uncut. And before this hunt cuts over, I'm going to tell you what's going on with this snake. But basically, she's been here for about eight years since she was a baby, and now she's going away. I guess that's all you really need to know. But Animal Con, let's talk about it. So just got back last night, as I mentioned. And if you don't know what Animal Con is, it is an event that is put on to host different animal content creators, whether you're from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, television, and Brian Cu Brian Cusco, Brian Barczyk is the mastermind behind this event. Now, this event also has a team of Brian Potter, Bob Ashley, and uh, their crew. So the event is also run by folks who are very practiced at running large events, particularly NARBC um, shows like the Tinley Park Show and uh, Arlington Show, Schomburg Show, and show on, show on. So I had this event as a priority to get to this year because I was supposed to go last year for the first time it happened, but my wife was very pregnant with our baby boy, and so travel was kind of off of the list for me. So so this year, it was pretty much the one thing that I made a priority to get to anywhere that I was going in the country was, was Animal Con. So, you know, I mean, I... I I'm sure I'm biased a little bit about the event. Brian is a good friend of mine. Um, I wouldn't have gone if it wasn't for Brian. And I don't mean that I only went because it was his event that he was hosting, but because Brian played such a huge role in me being part of reptile or animal YouTube at all. Um, he was kind of the catalyst in my life behind that. So, And then with all of the health struggles that he's going through right now with battling cancer, um, it was kind of like, I, it was a no brainer that I was going to go. So, so there's, there's that, but basically the event is a, a three day event. The first day being just for, um, creators or it's like an industry day. The second two days open to the public. And I guess you could even attend if you were just general public on the first day, it was just a bit more expensive. Um, there were basically lots of panels throughout the day. So you had, you know, one, one main stage in one really big room that was divided in half by an audience and seats. And on the other side of a curtain were a bunch of vendors. And there were lots of cool vendors out there. There was this really cool lady doing like eye tests with a measuring the eye pressure of animals and Oculus, it was called. And that was pretty cool. A uh, little technique they had there, a little a piece of technology to determine health problems with any given animal based on the pressure of their eye. I, I don't really understand 100% the science behind it, but it, it was pretty cool. And then, of course, there were uh, different enclosure vendors. There was rescues. There were uh, there were lots of animals around. You know, there was a lady with a couple monkeys. There was like a kinkachu. There were birds. There were snakes and lizards and, and all that stuff. And the final event at the end of all the panels was an after party at Gatorland, which is what they did last year, and I think what it'll prob they'll probably do every year. And that was really cool because they basically had it shut down to the public, and it was just the Animal Con attendees who could go to that after party that night. And we got to like feed gators, and they had baby American alligators out, and Cuban crocodile baby, and Cuban Cuban crocodile babies, and like big boas. And there's there were uh, park employees walking around the park just with animals for people who hold big black throat monitor. It was really, really cool. Um, and just overall at the event, I mean, for me, I saw a lot of people who I knew ne didn't necessarily get along. There are pretty big personalities out there that, you know, don't always see eye to eye. But at this event, it seemed that most people like that, that had those issues, like squashed them. Like I watched a handful just with my own eyes, you know, watching them in person as people like squashed beefs. So that was amazing because I know that was a big part of the heart behind the event for Brian putting it on. I mean, he invent the first year. I know he invited people that, you know, he didn't even see eye to eye with. So he wasn't making exclusive to anybody. He was basically just trying to bring the entire 
community of animal related content creators together into one event and and get everyone together and it was very successful as far as that goes i would say um for attendees so i guess let me move directly along to should you go to animal con next year you know i think if if you really like let's see if you go to reptile shows and you really enjoy um, the community aspect of it, and you're not just there for the animals and just like seeing all the different variety of animals, what people are producing, because anybody that was there wasn't bringing their own animals. There were animals at the show, but they were all from vendors who weren't necessarily the, uh, on the creator side of things. But if you have any aspirations to become part of the community in the creator sense, like if you have an Instagram page or if you have a, a TikTok page or a Snapchat page or a, or a YouTube channel or you are a TV personality, I mean, th- that was the amazing thing was that you know, having the TV things in there because that seems a little separate from social media, the whole TV side of things. But Forrest Galante was there and he was super awesome. Anybody who was there was was really cool. Like I didn't ever get any kind of feeling from anybody, like how many subscribers you had, whether it was a thousand or multi-million um there was no you know like like weird oh i'm too good at least i didn't get any of that anybody that i talked to including like forrest galante from tv um everybody was super humble and and kind and just willing to talk to anybody and i thought that was i thought that was awesome that it that it had that vibe and um again it all coming together for brian was what really made it. I mean, there were, there were lots of moments of prayer throughout the show, which is not something that I would have expected necessarily. But I mean, there was a all kinds of like small little prayer things happening. And then a big one at the very end before we left for Gatorland, um, Mike Holston, aka Tar, uh, the real Tarzan, prayed over Brian and the whole group of people surrounded him and just praying over him um, for his for the battle that he's going through. And it was it was just really cool and like at the after parties there were there was a dj and there was like food and we're having dancing it was amazing i've never danced like that at at a like reptile event or an animal convention and that was just different i'd never done that ever before and people were just cutting a rug and lori too like i was dancing with the whole crew people but lori barcheck cutting a rug um lots of different creators but it was really nice to see lori doing that because you know she's working hard at the event and and really making sure everything's going smoothly, just like she always is with everything they do. She's such a hard worker. I just get her, get to see her like kind of relax and just cut loose for a couple nights was was really cool to see. And yeah, so obviously I've got a glowing review of the event for myself. Um, as far as critiques that I've seen um, from like people that that weren't there were saying that like it's it's called Animal Con, but there was like no no animal content or nothing animal wise being uh, put out from the event and that it should be called creator con instead, which I don't know if that's really a good name for it. I mean, animal content creators. So it's, I mean, if you read the, the website and you look at the show info, then it, it just says this event will host all the top animal content creators from YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, and television. Animal Con USA is the only event of its kind and will give animal lovers a chance to meet their favorite animal personalities all in one place. And I mean, it was certainly that. So as advertised on their show info, it was definitely that. And I mean, there was certainly plenty of animal content to be made. I I know I personally pretty much only reposted stories of myself on the dance floor and that's really all I showed for myself. So yeah, not too much animal stuff came out, but we were herping. Oh, there was pictures I took that I didn't post. Like we were finding uh, tree frogs out front of the hotel. And I know people were finding like water snakes and, and other different snakes just around the pool area of the hotel. So there's like herping to be done right at the event itself. And people were, and people went out herping at night. And then, as I mentioned, there was all kinds of animals at the event and at Gatorland afterwards. I mean, feeding alligators and stuff. There's definitely lots of actual animal things happening. Um, how much of it people were posting i couldn't say because i didn't look at everything Uh, i was really busy being focused about focused on being there and present at the event and really didn't film much there the only thing i really filmed was the after party at gatorland which i will have a video up for this weekend and yeah so you know I, i know that this year they opened it up to like a creators on the rise thing so 
if even if you like less than a thousand subscribers on whatever platform or less than 10,000 or whatever it is, like it was still open for you, for people like that to come, which is great. You know, I don't think that's how it was the first year, but that's definitely how it was this time around. So like I said, if you are, have any kind of aspiration to do anything on social media and you want to collaborate with people who are doing it on a very big level with really large audiences, um, certainly the place to do that and learn. Uh, some, some of the, like there were a bunch of panels, as I mentioned, was the majority of the event were, were panels. I moderated one. I was sitting on several panels and basically it was just different people on different panels throughout most of the day. And I'll just kind of read over a couple of the panels. So the industry day was more about like creating your community from zero to millions on social media, tips from the masters, um, you know, th- uh, things like harnessing data, create engaging content and optimize your monetization strategy on social media. So like industry stuff, like a content creator and, and different things things like that. And then Saturday and Sunday had things more like uh, the incredible world of bugs or uh, fish keeper friends in 2023 or wild careers, the best opportunities to work, to work professionally with animals. Um, And there's lots of people that do just that. So it was a perfect place to get that kind of information from people who are actually doing it and have been doing it professionally for a long time. Um, Got uh, like my extraordinary, extraordinary reptilian life. There was one where you're sharing like your um, herping adventures from around the world. There were scape offs, uh, so making different enclosures and stuff, and having a contest for that for the kids. There were kid panels, which was really cool, like to hear kids and their their aspirations and hopes for the future. Um, what was the one I, I've moderated? One that was really cool, like reptiles. Um, I think it was called uh, like how how they act. You know, like. Sorry, I don't remember exactly what it was called, but it was a really good panel. It was so good that like the 45 minutes that the panel lasted went by so fast. We went a few minutes over, but that panel could have gone on for like two and a half hours. And it was just great information being poured out about reptile behavior, intelligence and beyond. That's what it was called. But yeah, man, oh, I, I certainly uh, look forward to going back next year and hope to see and meet lots of new people just like I did this year at Animal Con. 2024. As far as this snake, she's been here for eight years, as I I mentioned. She's the smallest reticulated python I have, but she got here the same time and size as the biggest reticulated python I have. Fed them the exact same feeding schedule and she just stays small. But the thing is, uh, there was a charity thing recently, and so she is actually going to be going to another home, which is kind of a big deal because she's a really lovely pet. I have video of this girl like crawling across Eli's face when he was like one year old, just like crawling up the side of his face and he's smiling and laughing. And she's such a gentle, gentle snake has never struck defensively at anybody ever. And so, and she's beautiful. And so I, I don't really want to get let go over, but it was for a really good cause. And it turns out the people that won her on the charity auction, I'm going to meet at the Sacramento reptile show and give them to them, give her to them in person. So that's really cool that I get to drop her off in person and hopefully see a lot of you guys at the Sacramento Reptile Show on Saturday. I'll be there all day filming with Jesse from Freedom Breeder and I think my parents will probably be along too and just be there all day filming. Um, And, you know, of course, taking breaks to talk to folks and and hang out and have a good time. So hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys for watching uh, my very biased review of Animal Con 2023. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video with the Gatorland After Party. Aloha. Come on, snake. Woohoo!